Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, thanks everyone for joining for today's live webinar. Uh, today's going to be a master class on the courts of heaven and uh, as well, having us learn a little bit more about how important it is for us to come before the just judge. I want to make sure that everyone can hear me clearly here. I'm going to put myself in the spotlight. Thanks to you, everyone. We've got about 70 people that are going to be joining uh, here as well. So just be patient as everyone's getting in. Uh, earlier this year, um, as a matter of fact, it was right around December, um, uh, the Lord uh, put on my heart to start um, and teaching on the courts of heaven uh, because it's so important for us to come to Jesus as the just judge. Um, he shared with me that uh, he wanted me to make it simple and easy uh, so everyone can do it so uh, that we don't have to depend on anyone else we can come directly before Jesus Christ as that just judge to get our freedom and he wants to bring freedom to you um, uh, and the disciples in Luke uh, 17 uh, we can see a, um, a, a what's going on here uh, for for them they're again uh, hearing from Jesus Christ um, and uh, he's telling them that the the the, the prophecy about uh, the Jerusalem and and the destruction that's going to be happening uh, he's sharing with them as well about uh, watching out for false prophets um, uh, being wounded and hurt by people needing to forgive others as well he starts sharing about the uh, revelations and the end to come and the disciples are a little bit weary and and scared a bit and they share jesus well, when's this all going to happen of course jesus doesn't give them a timeline either uh, but uh, he does share in luke 18 a recipe for success because uh, jesus is getting ready to uh, to, to finish off his the rest of his ministry he's equipping his his his, uh, his, ap his apostles his disciples uh, to go forth and to get ready for this next big season that's going to be happening for them the season's going to be persecution at some point they're going to be martyred they're going to be killed um, uh, some of them would be stoned to death they're going to be thrown on the cross upside down and Jesus uh, gave them a recipe for success and I believe that this is a deception from the enemy that he's trying to bring into the body of Christ so that we don't understand who we are, that we can come before our Heavenly Father and, and Jesus Christ in this format to coming before the just judge of the universe, um, presenting our cases before the Lord, and the enemy's been blinding us, making it seem like it's hard and it's difficult. You know, some of you, you've read books, you've uh, you've gone to seminars, uh, you've, you've gone other places, maybe you've even had sessions with others however it just seems that that uh, you just have a hard time really getting it down that you're not maybe uh, understanding it completely and it seems to be very foreign to you and the lord wants to make it simple and easy and that's what this webinar is really about a master class walking you through this so that you can bring up your own issues before jesus and get uh, freedom now we use the courts of heaven over our ministry very specifically uh, for deliverance <clears throat> and coming before the just judge with demonic oppression and uh, you can come to him this way uh, we teach it in our self-deliverance training um, it's very specific by nature it doesn't really allow you to go much further i don't give you more instruction about it. I don't, I, I don't want to do it there because it's not the place. That place is just for just doing deliverance all on its own. However, what I've noticed as I've gone through everyone's training, and I've gone through a lot, uh, I've read almost every book that I could possibly find. I go to webinars all the time and I uh, learn from others. And you know what? All of them, as they go through and do this, none of them's talking about inner healing. None of them's talking about coming to Jesus as friend to get these issues resolved, and he gives us scripture on how to do that. And that's a part of our masterclass here today, Secrets to Our Success uh, for Coming Before the Courts of Heaven. Because if we come before Jesus as the just judge, we can ask for forgiveness. All of these things are great. It's wonderful. And it gives us additional freedom. However, um, if there's woundedness still here, that means there's a legal right that's here. If there's an open doorway that needs to get resolved and healed by Christ through Luke 4.18, where he says that he came to heal the brokenhearted. And the brokenhearted is more than just, you know, uh, just doing normal inner healing and coming to him as friend. It's also, you know, uh, seeking out godly counsel for uh, Christian counseling, and Christian uh, therapists, uh, Christian psychiatrists, Christian doctors, and, um, and the courts of heaven are going to be used for everything. 
You know, if you do two or three sessions with us and you're looking for more Courts of Heaven things, I'm sorry. After two or three sessions, I'm going to say, no, you got to do this by yourself, man. I give you the training so that you can do it. However, if you need additional assistance, I'll encourage you to do pastoral counseling or more inner healing because you'll see that when you start bringing these issues before the Lord, it's all going to be having to do with demons and wounds and legal rights. And these demons are on the wounds. And so maybe you're feeling depressed or have anxiety, hopelessness, seeing, hearing, feeling the enemy. Maybe you're dealing with trauma from your past, PTSD, multiple personalities, bipolar, you know, uh, all of these issues, they're all just legal rights and presented before the courtroom scenario. And like Job, you don't know there's a court case that is being called over your own life and so we're ignorant to it and then also the enemy just has a kind of like a lot of free reign disqualifying us from getting our prayers answered disqualifying us from getting a financial blessing because we're holding unforgiveness and the enemy comes before jesus and says you can't bless them financially because they have unforgiveness in their heart jesus this, your word says so your rules and so they're a stickler to the rules and so we need to get this education deep down inside of us. And that's where this training really is going to come into play. And you're going to be mixing it together with inner healing and coming to Jesus as friend. And then as well, at the very end, you're all as well coming to him as judge. You'll finish it off with some self-deliverance here so that you can get continued freedom in Jesus' name. Now, I wanted to share with you a couple things before we get going. Thank you, everyone, again for sharing and coming here. I'm going to mute everything everyone. And then as well, if uh, you have questions during this time, just uh, keep them to the side. We'll be answering questions. And then uh, towards the end, I'm going to be bringing up some volunteers. Some of you, this is uh, your additional online training because you've done a session with me already for the courts of heaven. You've gotten some freedom. I said, hey, do the training and then show up on this masterclass webinar. So you're here. Hopefully you've got some things written down, maybe something that you want to bring before the Lord in that courtroom scenario so that we can get some freedom. By the way, uh, I, it can't be generalized either. When we bring it up, you have to be very specific by nature, you know? If you're just saying, oh, you know, I'm just looking for a marriage, uh, you know, you, you, you got to be very specific, you know, well, what's going on? And this and that, you got to know exactly what you're going to bring up. You'll find out as well when you come before Jesus and you're just trying to him haul around things. Uh, it's like in a normal courtroom. It's very um, uh, d d done in a, a protocol a certain way and if you're not on topic and uh, you're out in left field, you'll get kicked out as quickly as you came in. And Jesus will say, hey, get serious and come back to me. When you're ready, you'll come back in here and you'll know what you're doing. And some of you, you're going to try to do it immediately. Cool. Give it a shot. You'll get kicked out real quick, by the way, because uh, the Lord's going to want to uh, get your heart ready. And that's what this training's really about here as well. Uh, before we get going again, I want to share with you a couple things. Uh, yeah, let me share with you my screen so you can see upcoming events. Before I share it, let me make sure that I got it up and running here. I had it uh, just a second ago. Perfect. Make sure I'm not sharing something I don't want to share. We just had some worship going. Uh, it was great. I just really enjoy the worship that uh, that they have out here today. What a blessing. All right. Obviously, today is Accessing the Mercy Court of Heaven. This is upcoming events. Uh, so this one here is going to be the next one. This is the Courts of Heaven Members Only Webinar for Coaching. Now, some of you, again, you've gone through uh, to some of our training, and uh, you've also signed up to become a member. Um, if you're interested in showing up, um, we do charge 35 for this one here. If you can't afford it, email me. We'll let you going on for free. We want to bless the body of Christ. Just send us an email. We'll enroll you immediately. Um, however, if you can afford, this is really meant for those who are doing a subscription and that uh, you want to bless our ministry as part of the subscription so that uh, we'll continue monthly to be a partner with our ministry. And a part of this partnership that I wanted to share with you that is important is that when um, the people reach out to us, pastors and ministers, uh, we bless the body 
body of Christ. If you are a pastor of a full-time ministry and a church, we'll do your session for free. We'll give you the training and I'll mentor and disciple you. So will Dr. Scott, so that you can learn how to do this. Um, and then as well as not just that, the, the Lord as well as bringing in through the, the blessings of the monthly partnerships, we have our sliding scale that is on uh, as well. And that's also for our international pricing. So if you make under a certain amount, you can go to our about page underneath costs and fees. All of our pricing for all of our services are there, including the sliding scale. We're on the honor system. So the Lord knows your heart. He knows where you're at. So he'll minister and speak to you. And then as well, we do have those webinars, all of them. If you can't afford them, they are going to be free for you. Um, however, this one here at the very end, if you're interested in having the replay, that's where the difference is really going to be. We're going to be doing the replay here for the courts of heaven uh, here today. This replay will be next week, but maybe about Tuesday or Wednesday. You'll get an email about it. And uh, when uh, that this one here comes around, we're asking for 35 for the replay. We have the master class for free for you to watch it here. There's no notes included here with today's uh, webinar. Um, but if you're looking for the replay, you'll get the replay and then become a monthly partner with us. Um, and then you'll be uh, access to that next one coming up on the Courts of Heaven Masterclass there and just coaching, helping you walk through it. One-on-ones with people asking, uh, you ask questions, I'll answer. That's really a, what it's really there for. Wanted to share that with you. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get going here and, and get this started. First, we're gonna open up in prayer. Thank the Lord for a great day. And then I'm gonna share with you a lesson number one, intros, uh, an intro into the mercy court of heaven. Lord Jesus, we come before you now. We thank you again that today is the day that you have made. And we rejoice and be glad in it. Father, as well, we ask to enter into your courtroom today, according to Matthew 18, 18. All people here, Lord, will you have the first and second demons escorted to the courts of heaven? They're going to stay there and give their testimony before you, Heavenly Father, and your righteous Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you for leading and guiding all of them into, tr and, into truth. Lord, as well, will you as well have all of their books open and let everything that is established in heaven be established here on earth as well or thank you as well all the cloud of witnesses are there including the accuser of the brethren and lord as well thank you for an open heaven for your ministering angels just to come and go as you see fit thank you lord as well for sending your holy spirit to comfort them to be with them to guide them and have them to hear the voice of jesus christ whenever we call on anyone to walk through uh, and volunteers and we thank you lord for opening up the door Way so that they can hear your voice clearly and that the seeds land on good soil in Jesus' name. Amen. Awesome. All right. What we're going to do here first now is we're just going to be sharing a little bit about uh, an intro into the, the courts of heaven. And the reason why we start this first is because it's going to be the base foundation. We need to know a little bit about it. Why are we going before the courtroom? Why are we coming before Jesus as the just judge? And there are many different ways that we can come before the Lord in prayer. And this is not going to replace your normal prayer process. This is going to, again, be very specific, and it's going to be very effective, and it's efficient. It's quick. It's swift. Um, I had a client the other day, and uh, boy, uh, all of them were all guilty verdicts. And at the very end, we, we got a, a non-guilty verdict, and uh, the Lord brought some freedom. And, uh, and as well, at the end, we heard more guilty verdicts. And so we're supposed to be meeting again because they, they want more help. And they need some more freedom. And so when we get these guilty verdicts, it just means we just keep on going and pushing and going forward. When we go before the courts of heaven, again, we're going to need to be very specific, no generalizing about what's going on here. In Hebrews uh, uh, Hebrews 4, 16, it shares, so let us come before boldly before the throne room of grace to God. There we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it the most. So before we go before for the courts of heaven, we need to get ourselves right before God, because this is going to stop you 
every single time. Uh, you not being right before God. The enemy's very legalistic. He uh, operates on legal grounds and principles, kind of like a very conniving lawyer. We just can't rebuke the enemy and command him to go and expect that we get results here. Uh, we're going to need to have Jesus heal the brokenhearted issues. And what's usually going to be brought up in the courtroom scenario and when uh, these accusations are made against you, when you have a list of charges that you're bringing before him, is, is that he's going to usually bring woundedness up areas that you got traumatized and hurt by people he'll even share with you even more about that he'll tell you where the legal right came in how many generations it's going to be he's going to share everything he's going to lead and guide you into truth however before we get there we have to make sure that things are resolved with the lord and that we're not going in here with unconfessed sin this is something that is just going to absolutely stop us from moving forward an unconfessed sin is going to be in mark 4 22 he says for there is nothing hidden which will not be revealed and nor nothing that kept secret that will become to light so uh, the Lord's going to be searching you, and we need to make sure we're not holding this unconfessed sin because this will hinder you. I mean, make sure our motives are right and they're not impure. Um, and, and James 4.3, it says, even when you ask, uh, you don't get it because your motives are all wrong. You want only what you can give in, uh, you get in pleasure. And so uh, we can't have our motives impure. You know, we can't go in before Jesus, I want to become a millionaire, you know? Hey, I want to hit the lotto. You know, we got to go into pure motives, you know? I want, hey, no one's going to know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be deceptive. You know, the Lord knows our heart. As well as if, if people have sinned against you, this is going to be the third thing that's going to stop you from moving forward, uh, that, that, that they, uh, men and women have done nasty things to you. In Matthew 6, 14 through 15, it says, if you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, our heavenly father will not forgive you of your sins. And so this is going to be major blockage. Unforgiveness, you'd be surprised. How many people cannot forgive? And so when we get stopped here, we need to ask the Lord to help us in his strength, in his mercy, to forgive these people. That's even included when we do inner healing. You know, when inner healing's happening and part of it may be having to forgive somebody, unforgiveness will hinder you. The enemy will stop you in, in your tracks, and as well as you'll hear Jesus share with you, you can't move forward because you have unforgiveness. You can't forgive this person. Of course, he's going to work with you to forgive that person, and he's going to uh, be ministering to your heart about this as well, so uh, we don't uh, have this be an open doorway, as well as if we have sin in our hearts and have not given it to the Lord. Uh, that's going to be Psalms uh, 66, 18. I'm going through this a little bit quick here. Uh, and the main reason why I want to get to the main core here uh, so that you guys can get to secrets and entering into God's heavenly realm and then presenting cases and uh, doing volunteers. And then as well, uh, there is a summary of all of this and uh, our very first one uh, that we have in the Mercy Court of Heaven, part one in our training. It's on the website um, as well. So you can check that out. And then of course, the, this all the information here you'll get additional pieces to the replay a lot of people don't know that you get in like an additional time and therefore the self inner healing and deliverance with examples of others you also get the additional training for self-deliverance and searching yourself by the finger of god at the very end of bringing up the issues before the lord and once you got your just verdict you want to finish it make sure there's no legal rights left behind the lord will help you with that as well but uh, that's where the, the replay is really going to come through and really help you with this uh, because then you get to watch it over and over and over again and get your freedom and see others going through the process, including maybe yourself when you volunteer here. And then as well, that if, if we're, 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 uh, Psalm 66, 18, it says, you have not confessed the, the sin in your heart. The Lord will not listen. 
He's not going to listen to you if you're holding things that you know is wrong. You know, if you're a secret drinker, you know, if you, uh, you're you secretly doing sin, you know, if porn's your sin, maybe it's lust, maybe it's, you know, uh, the Lord's convicted you about smoking, you know, maybe he's convicted you about drinking, period. Maybe it's, uh, maybe the sin is, is that he's told you not to drink soda. Whatever he's asking you to stop doing, he will be tugging on you. And if you don't do it, then as well, that becomes a sin. Uh, as well, because now we know better, and the Lord's asking us to be pure. I mean, we're supposed to be good students, by the way. Um, we're all disciples of Jesus Christ, which means we're students. We're not done learning yet. And as good students, we're supposed to be reading our Bible. We're supposed to be studying it. And then when things aren't right, the Lord's going to be sharing with you, hey, there's pieces inside my scripture that says you've got to deal with this stuff, man. If you don't deal with it, by the way, uh, there, there's, there's consequences for it. I love you, man. I'm forgiving you. Uh, you're forgiven, but this is stopping you. It really is. Or, or, and some of them, if we haven't forgiven, then he's not forgiving us. And that's a great place to go to if you feel very unforgiven. Start forgiving others. That's right. As if we harbor unforgiveness towards others for holding that resentment, that pain, the Lord's going to be doing a lot. When we go before the courts, it's just not just a, you know, once and done because Jesus is going to be uh, refining you. This is the purpose of this to dismantle the accusations, the legal rights. You're trying to get a prayer answered. Jesus is trying to get you healed. You think this is the problem? He says, no, you know, that's, that's just the, the, the underlining issue that's going on. Uh, the problem starts at the root, and then he starts pulling these things out of you. And he says, hey, I want, I want to refine you. Man. I want to get rid of all of this junk. I want to use you, but I can't fully until you start getting these things right. And that's why you're here because the Lord's taking you to the next level. Instead of your normal praying and hitting the walls and bumping your head, you know, I can't I get freedom, I can't I move forward. When you don't get your answer, you come before Jesus and you come again and you come again. And finally, he says, let me give justice to this person. They're driving me crazy with their persistence. Let's bring freedom to this captive. And then he starts getting you healed and restored and bringing these issues up. Amen. Uh, the next piece is here is that we have idols in our lives. Hey, that could be our cell phone, by the way. You'd be surprised how our cell phone could be an idol. Our, our social networks, when we get on there, it could be our idol. Uh, the TV can be an idol. Food can be an idol. Uh, tobacco, anything can be an idol. And if it's an idol, we need to get it out of our lives. If you have broken covenants, if you ask the Lord, you know, hey, Lord, I, uh, I, I promise that uh, I'm going to do the, uh, your word and you're not obeying all of God's commands. Uh, and then he, and you're rejecting his decrees. Uh, I love this. It's because in Levit Leviticus uh, 26, 14 through 15, I just felt like the Lord said, read it. Um, it shares that right there. Uh, it, however, if you do not listen to me or or obey all of the commands, if you break my covenant by rejecting my decrees, treating my regulations with contempt and refusing to obey my commands, this will hinder you in going before the courtroom um, as well. If you make a vow to the Lord, a vow of faith, uh, this is a big one. Let's just say that you say, if you get me out of this situation, Jesus, I will do this for you. And then you don't do it. It's a vow of faith that you made to the Lord, a promise that you told him. And then as well, now you broke your promise. You broke your covenant with the Lord, that vow. And so he's going to say, hey, man, that's not cool. Hey, you made a vow to me. You need to withhold, keep this. Vow. You know, of course, we can ask for forgiveness. But at some point, he's going to ask you to keep that vow. You made it to him. You can't make a promise and then take it away. The Lord's going to go, no, I, don't, I can't do that. The last one here uh, that we're going to be closing out and, and uh, coming before the courts, the beginning here is refusing to tithe and give offerings. Malachi 3, 9 through 10. Again, if you're, you're under a curse, your whole nation, uh, you've been cheating me. Uh, you bring all the tithes into the storehouse so that there will be enough food in my temple if you do says the lord of heaven i will open the windows of heaven i will pour out a blessing so great that it won't be enough for you to take it in try it 
put me to the test. So what some of us have done is we think the New Testament, oh, Jesus accomplished the law. You bet he did. But he also said for us to love the law and to follow the law. When he accomplished it, that meant that we're not under the command of law. But now this law that's here, he's tugging on our hearts to accomplish it by coming to him and doing it because he's asking us to. So we're not going to murder. We're not going to gossip. We're not going to covet. Uh, just because Jesus fulfilled it, we're not going to commit adultery. <laughs> you know, he accomplished it. He accomplished all the law. And so people will share, hey, that's not what that means. Well, he accomplished it. Now we need to follow it and to do all that we can in God's strength and his mercy to make sure that we, we, we do it through his grace. And he's going to be helping us to do it. There's over 50 that Jesus shares in the New Testament. He says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. And we're not keeping them. So are we loving them? No. We, 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 he's going to start tugging on us now and saying, hey, it's time to get this right. It's time to be a good student. It's time. And it's not legalistic either. Because if you're here, he's telling you to work on your heart anyway. You may want your prayer answered. You won't want deliverance from seeing demons. You may want deliverance from insomnia nightmares. You want, may want deliverance and, and freedom from, you know, hearing voices or feeling depressed and feeling hopeless and having depression. But the, uh, the, the whole thing is that the Lord says, I know all of this is what you want. I'm bringing it to you. But there's a process I'm going to take you through because I want to bring you through the storm and I'm trying to do something with you. I'm trying to heal you in the storm. I'm trying to help you because the next season is going to bring more persecution. You're here. That means the next season's bringing some persecution. I'm not I'm just sharing what God's word pretty much does. You know, you get trained and equipped. You get this inside of you. They're already being persecuted at the beginning of the three years that were there. You know, they're learning from Jesus Christ. Now more, more persecution's coming. And so when this persecution comes and when the trials come and when you see the destruction of things around us come and all of the worry of the world come, then we have an answer in the Lord. Wow, isn't that awesome? We have hope in the Lord and he's going to give us direction to come to him this way to get our freedom in Jesus name. How awesome is that to get that freedom in Jesus name? Amen. Amen. Praise God.